Hey everybody, it's Nate Scott with Windermere North Sound here with our Tuesday two minute update here to talk to you about what's going on in the real estate world. And I'm gonna to talk to you today specifically about the short term rental moratorium that's happened in the city of Anacortes. So I'm gonna tell you the brief history of the short term rental rules in Anacortes, why they're having a moratorium, how long it's gonna last and what you can do to be part of the process. So in the end, we end up with great short term rental rules here in Anacortes. Do it in under two minutes. So. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so the quick history on the short term rental rules in Anacortes is. In October of 2019, there were rules put in place that prohibited short-term rentals from any residentially zoned area. So the only places you could have short-term rentals moving forward are four zones, and those are the Central Business District, Commercial, Marine Mixed Use, and Commercial Marine. Those are the only four you can have them in moving forward. If you had one prior to October of 2019 in a residential zone, and you had a city business license for that short-term rental, you can continue that use. If you buy a new home in any residential area, you cannot have a short-term rental there. You can have long-term rentals, which is defined as 30 days or longer, and you can have a bed and breakfast, but you have to live in the home in order to do that. So in April of 2023, the city council put an emergency moratorium on any new short-term rentals. They did this in large part because the city of Anacortes has in their development code, the ability for developers who are putting up buildings, residential buildings, uh, to get higher density and uh, high, increase the height of those buildings if in return, the developer builds a certain percentage of the units within that building at 600 square feet or smaller, or uh, has a certain number of those rentals going to low income families. The fear of the city council, and it's, it's a legitimate fear, is that developers would get the bonus density by creating more smaller units in their building or the certain percentage they need to, and then just turn those into short-term rentals rather than having them enter the long-term rental pool, which is the whole reason behind the bonus densities. So the city council did not want to have a project go through and have uh, what should be more affordable units just turn into short-term rentals and not actually serve the citizens of Anacortes. So now we have a moratorium and that moratorium uh, I think is for 90 days. And in the first 30 or 60, the city has to meet and uh, have a public hearing, which they've done. They've adopted a work plan and they've extended the moratorium for one year to give them time to craft new language that will allow the short-term rentals in all the areas we want them to be, which is that central business district, commercial uh, mixed-use marine and commercial marine, uh, but protect the bonus density rules from being used for short-term rentals. They may be doing some other things as well, and this is where I'd encourage you to get involved, especially if you're interested in having a short-term rental or currently have one. Um, I'm gonna put some links down below to the city council site where you can go get involved. They are uh, accepting comments through July and then they're going to put together a rough draft of new language. Hopefully have this all figured out this year rather than uh, the moratorium now that it's extended for a year could go to March of next year, but they're hoping to get this all done this year. Um, but be involved if you have any in in any interest in being in the short-term rental industry here in, in Anacortes, get involved, help them craft the language. Uh, doesn't do you any good to complain after it's all done, so get out there and be involved. Incidentally, if you do have a short-term rental currently, prior to the moratorium, and you have a license, you're good to go. Just maintain that license. You can keep operating as a short-term rental, and you can sell your property to someone else, and they can continue that use as long as the license stays active, so you haven't lost any value there with the moratorium. That's all I've got. If you have any corrections or updates or questions, pop them in the comments below. If this was helpful at all, hit the like and subscribe. Thanks very much for tuning in.